what's up guys name is dre and welcome to another genshin impact video so today we are doing the support tier list for the game yeah i did a dps tier list so if you guys didn't see that make sure to check that out i will put the link on the top right corner right now so yeah um now explanation for support characters what do i think are support characters support characters are actually characters that provide utility to the game so the utility that support characters provide is not the same that the utility that dps characters provide so i want to explain that as easy as possible so actually supporters are the input givers so they give the team something to use and the dps characters are the takers so they take that thing that the supporters provide to the team so if the supporter pro usually it is you want to have a lot of elemental reactions and how in which way do supporters provide the elemental reaction and in which way can the dps characters use it so this is just for the overall explanation how we did the tier list so yeah if you guys know i did the tier list with my friends i did explain this at the beginning of the first video of the dps tier list so yeah make sure to check that out uh now without further ado let's just hop into the support tier list okay so for the support tier list i want to add again another row at a row below which i want to call the garbage one so they don't provide any supportive abilities or they don't provide any of the um, utility that supporters should provide for the team. So yeah, we put the look in the, the garbage tier as a supporter. Um, he does provide the fire element, which is pretty good. But his kit overall just is for himself, so he's a pure damage dealer. So yeah, that's why he is a garbage one. Then we put Noel. So we are. Uh, don't get us wrong. We are. We did. Every one of us did use Noel at the beginning. I also did use her in the open beta because I did play the open beta quite a lot, and I really do think that Noel is not a too good character. A character that you like to use over another one because she doesn't have anything that you need in the game so yeah she doesn't really provide anything except for the geo element so yeah we did put her clearly in the garbage tier we were thinking about the c tier but after a lot of input uh she actually made it into the garbage tier referring to the supporters we put in ningwang ningwang is the one of the better geo characters and uh, as a DPS, she's very good, but as a supportive character, she only provides the shield and the geo element, which is not too important for any combos currently in the game. So that's the reason why we put her in the C tier. So for Razor, uh, we were discussing a bit if he would, he, or if he is a B tier character because he is Electro, but his kit is very um, for himself and most of the um, sword users, the two-handed sword users. Or actually DPS characters that do not provide too much for them so he could be a possible B tier unit but for now we did put him in the C tier so yeah if you guys don't know the tier list is based on the experience that we have over the course of the last three days so it is a very fresh tier list and of course over the um, time that I played the better version because I was the only one that played the better version before so yeah but i just want to let you know that the tier list is not from my view only because if i would have done the tier list alone it would look um quite different next one is bidu i think these are similar reasons with razor and bennett bennett is like a he's actually a dps character but we do not really know if we want to put her put him in the city because he doesn't provide really anything except the fire element i think his kit is very okay but no one of us was able to utilize his abilities and to use him the way that he works very well for us so that's the reason why we did put him in the c tier 
Now, B tier. B tier, we did think Klee is on top of the B tier because she could be possibly a A tier, providing the fire element. Fire element is pretty raw in the game, so there are not two strong users except for Diluc, but he is a DPS character. So, uh, then we did use Amber as the other one. The reason why Amber is so, let's say, high on the tier list is her kit is not good, but the fact that she is a bow user, so a archer, and provides the fire element makes her so good for overall usage in the game that we did put her on the B tier. Um, yeah. I did mention this in the DPS video, so this is a character that actually wants to do too much. It is a DPS character, it is a supporter character, but yeah, there's like not a clear difference, a a well-made balance for the character that I would put her clearly in the B tier. Um, next character that we did put in the B tier was uh, Xiao. He is uh, would be actually here but because of the wind element which is an element that combos into literally anything uh, we did move him up and Lisa electro element uh, pretty easy uh, to use because you can trigger her electro but very fast but she doesn't like fit in too much so you I would say she's not too bad but because there are so much better electro uh, units in the game she has to compete against them and that's the reason why we did put her in the b tier next thing is i think yeah lisa was the last one for the b tier so now let's move over to the a tier sucro is a character that we don't have too much experience with but yeah i do think he is um a pretty good um supporter and because of wind he also moves up so actually wind users are always always like a tier down except for venti and gene okay i do think that except for venti and gene most of the units are actually one tier down but because of the element they move a whole tier up so electricity and wind i do think are like the best elements in the game because they provide the most utility to the team so that's the reason why we did put Sucrose on top of that. But he, uh, so we did compare units with the same element actually. So his competition would be Jean and Venti, and they are clearly a lot better than Sucrose in our opinion after we use them. Uh, Changyan we did put in the A tier even as a supporter because uh, his E ability is doing he's like so good he can he can provide uh, the ice field and he can provide ice in general for the team so ice is a a element that combos off pretty easy especially with electro and also with wind that's the reason why we did put him in the 80 and so we did with kaya so yeah you may be surprised about these two in the same tier but i want to repeat this on this video we are looking at supportive aspects and yeah I said it at the beginning what are we understanding in supportive aspects so Kea is pretty fast he can provide very good utility to the game uh, maybe even better than Chongyan though but I think Chongyan is in general a very nice character for DPS so that's the reason why we did considering put him up in the S tier in DPS wise. So we weren't able to put him in the uh, S tier for the supportive aspect. Yeah, as supportive aspects, he's very, very, very good. Uh, Traveler is in the tier, same reason like Sucrose, with the reason that they uh, their kit is very nice. But they have really good cooldowns and it is very easy to use. Xiangling why is she that good in the supportive aspect the reason why is she is the best fire character in the game currently that was the reason for us to put her in the 80 she is doing quite a lot of damage and she she provides uh, very nice fire abilities to the game and to the team so if you want to use fire 
she's definitely the best character she's easy to dupe she's free to play and okay not easy to use but she's free to play but uh, and you can use her and utilize her if you learn and utilize her abilities she is definitely very worth to play in the team yeah i hope this makes sense in a certain way um mona and kicking we did think they are quite similar in supportive aspects so we did put them both in the a tier they are solid DP uh, they are very very good dps characters and solid um supporters as well so yeah if you want to use them as supportive characters they are still very good so i would say in general these two characters are very strong uh, if you pull them uh for the s tier i did put Fischl. uh nobody of us really put her in the ss tier even though she is so good but yeah she's like nothing too crazy with electro element because i do think that you can also use uh, kicking or lisa in supportive aspects it is not as strong as Fischl, of course but yeah we didn't felt like Fischl is on top of the game referring to supportive aspects so she is a staple i think literally everyone in our group used Fischl um at least five hours uh, play time we did all made her level 20 uh some of us level 40 and none of us uh really said she's on top of the game gene so gene is a decision that i made because I am the only one that uses Jean. I did pull Jean on my account. So yeah, I do really like her. I would uh, think to consider her here. Because uh, in general, I do think she is one of the best or well-rounded character in the game. She's so good, but she does not really anything perfectly. So she has a heal, she has very good DPS, and she provides utility to the game. But yeah, she is like not on top in her um section referring to that so that made me to give her the s tier for now and not the ss tier because i do think there is a huge difference between uh, not a too huge difference between s and ss tier but yeah, she's like not something that that nobody in the game can do uh let's do these three yeah we did move all these three in the ss tier so ice element with heal we did think this is definitely worth to put in the ss tier as a supporter uh, on top of the game we definitely said that venti is the best supporter in the game i think no one of us disagreed i do think venti is the best supportive character in the game he is his his ultimate provides way too much utility and overall his whole kit provides so much utility with the wind element and he is like not too hard to use barbara is the best healer in the game so for late game content she is very very useful and you are very easy to access her dupes kicking is just based from our knowledge to her so she might go down on s tier but for now, for what we know, we did put her in the SS tier. So yeah, guys, I would say that's it for the support tier list. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys enjoyed, subscribe to my channel for more Genshin Impact content. And yeah, i see you guys next time. Follow me on Twitter and follow me on Twitch. Don't forget that. If you guys want to see more Genshin Impact content, videos should pop up on the screen right now. Make sure to check them out and I thank you for your support.